Bubba Gunner here to talk nerdy to you about Star Wars The Acolyte. Two episode premiere on Disney Plus. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. My grade scale is going to be must see, must stream, check it out, and then pass. If you don't know me, I am Pablo Gunner. I am a hardcore Star Wars nerd, as you may or not be able to tell from all the nerdy Star Wars stuff behind me. I don't know too much about the High Republic, which is what the Acolyte is focused and steeped in its lore. I do know Knights of the Old Republic and Extended Universe enough to fill in the gaps. And perhaps this may motivate me to check out more High Republic stuff. Let's find out if the Acolyte hits its mark or disappoints. Star Wars The Acolyte is a new series on Disney+. Plus. It has a two-episode premiere that posted on the same day. As you may or may not be able to tell from the title, is about a Sith Acolyte. We don't know what that means necessarily. That's the mystery. There's a lot of mystery here. It starts off with mystery right away because there is this girl that attacks this Master Jedi, Trinity, I will call her. Uh, immediately, the choreography is absolutely phenomenal. And I will say, too, that the person that is attacking the Master Jedi uses the Jedi's teachings against them to get what they want and continues to do so throughout the entire episode. And that's what the Sith are about, doing whatever they have to, using whatever tools and means they have to, to get what they want. As this is supposed to be the peak of the Jedi, you see a different variety of the Jedi. There's, you have your regular cop Jedi, who's like quick to pull out his lightsaber, quick to get in action, quick to accuse, and you have others that are like, yeah, great teachers. You have the political Jedi, which goes into how did we get here, right? How did we get here of what happened to the Jedi in the prequel trilogy? This shows those cracks. I've played KOTOR, I've read a lot of EU stuff, Legends stuff, so I know what the Jedi are about, and this gets that right. The idea that the Jedi really should not use their lightsabers unless they absolutely have to. They deal with their problems in so many ways without having to use their lightsabers in this, and that's what I loved about it. That they knocked out of the park. There's also the mystery and the intrigue of who is the Acolyte? Who is the Sith? Who is the Master? The mystery is what's the most intriguing about it. And that means that the writing's so well done that even if this had nothing to do with Star Wars, I'd still be in. I will say that, yeah, I'm not completely sucked in yet. I, I'm sucked in for what's to come more so than the episodes themselves. And that's why great intro, great establishment, and great teaser for what's to come. That's why I have to give it a must-see. That's why I give it a must-see. Must-stream. Tell me what you thought. Talk nerdy to me. Like, comment, subscribe. May the force be with you. Check out our merch at TNTM, the store where you can find this merch on sale with free shipping, as well as Doctor Who, my adventures with Superman, the boys, and gamer merch. 5% of any money that we make will go to our charity of the month, which for June is Human Rights Campaign. So help us help them by buying some of this sweet merch or donate directly to them on any of our social medias. Once we get to 500 subscribers, we're gonna do a giveaway. And once we get 25,000 followers on Facebook, we are going to do another giveaway on there. Talk nerdy to me.